The Jazz looked like they came out really ready to play tonight, uh, getting out to a, a big uh, double-digit lead in the first half of the first quarter. Um, were you guys just uh, just not hitting the shots or not focused or what? Uh, we missed a lot of open shots. And it's one thing we did change, we changed practice, the way we practice, um, how we practice, the intensity that we practice with and the pace. We have to build a foundation of um, purposeful pace and, and intensity. And it looked like today our starters, they just been happy to start the game. Were you pleased with their effort in the second half? I mean, they got down by as many as 20 in the first half and came out and eventually got it down to six late in the game. That's a tough team to come back on when you're down 20. They do a great job of playing well, playing together defensively. You know they're one of the top teams in the league. Our guys came out and really our bench guys came out and mixed in with some starters, helped us get back into the game. So show character. Character is big, but as we know, we, got, we have to start learning how to win games. We can't just take these character wins and move on. This is a competitive group. Our whole staff and the whole family here is, is, is competitive and our program is competitive. So we want to start building wins. The hack of Rudy seemed like a good idea at the time and then he for some reason got hot. Eventually someone gets hot. You know, he shot, he shot enough free throws, hopefully he got hot sooner or later. He's a pro professional athlete. He did well for them, he played well for them and um, he had a big game. He's one of the top young bigs in the league and they did well. You, uh, you, you coached for the Toros last year as an assistant coach in the D-League. Uh, with two guys on 10-day contracts and, and other players who look like you know they, they could still be in college, did it feel a little bit like you were you were really strapped as far as uh, the guys you had available to, to you tonight? Uh, no, it's the same guys we had the night before and the same guys we had for the longest time. Our, our group, we can win. Right now we're learning how to try to compete to win without a point guard. So that's the biggest obstacle we have ahead of us, the biggest challenge. We have Archie Goodwin, who's young. He's trying to figure it out along the way. Um, he's going to figure it out. Sooner or later, you know, Brandon Knight's going to be back. Ronnie Price is going to be back. So these nine-point losses, seven-point losses, six-point losses eventually become Ws. Mark, he struggled with his shot a little bit tonight. I think it was 6 of 22, but he also had season high eight assists. What did you see from him as far as a playmaker tonight? I saw a player who um, lately he's been getting double teamed a lot. He's a player who's finding other ways to be effective. And with Markeith, he's so multi-talented and he has a, a bunch of different strategies and dimensions to his game. I don't care about the 6 for 22. I care that he competes, he plays together, he plays with his teammates, he talks, and he's growing in front of our eyes. And we have to embrace that. We can't always look and hold him accountable for things in the past, and we know that. He's growing in front of our eyes, and he's taking accountability to stand up and become more of a man in our community. B.J. Tucker uh, didn't make a shot and only grabbed uh, one rebound, but it looked like he was really, you know, working really, really hard out there trying to hold Gordon Hayward down. Yeah, Gordon is a tough cover. He's one of the top uh, young wings in, the, in, our, in, our, in our business. Uh, P.J. had four assists. His, his value to our team isn't really in numbers. His heart, his attitude, his effort, his intensity, and his defense. All right. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Thank you.